About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water, and the oceans produce about 96.5% of all water on Earth. One has to wonder what lies in the dark abyss of these deep waters. There are many creatures living in the field. Dark depths where the pressure can be a dozen times higher than at sea level. These strange creatures rarely appear and remain largely unknown to humans. Technological improvements over the years, however, have allowed us to research these strange deep sea creatures that amaze us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upcoming daily awesome videos and activate the bell. Let's continue. Number 1. Casper Octopus. In February 2016, scientists found a new species of octopus in the deep sea off Hawaii at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. About 13,200 feet deep in the ocean, an almost translucent and limp-looking octopus that almost had ghosts was found. As features. He resembles the cartoon character Casper the Friendly Ghost, which is how he got his name. Scientists described the species as having no fins, lacking the pigment cells called chromatophores that most cephalopods have. Each arm has all suckers in a row and is not very muscular. Biologists have been amazed at the depths at which the Casper octopus has been found, as it is unusual to find a finless octopus so deep under the sea. Number 2. The Harp Sponge. Discovered in 2012 by a team from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute in about 11,000 feet of water. Off California, the harp sponge is a carnivorous species of deep-sea sponge. Sponge, due to its resemblance to the musical instrument. It is a stationary organism found in the deep sea, anchoring itself to a soft seabed with a root-like structure called rhizoids. Sponge s vertically growing blades give it the appearance of a harp and it has velcro-like hooks and spikes that it uses to kill its prey. Unlike other sponges, the harp sponge is carnivorous, feeding on larger prey such as copepods and other crustaceans. Number 3. Sea Devils. Monkfish belong to the Ceratidae family and are deep-sea anglerfish found in all oceans. Females of the species are usually large and can grow to 3.9 feet. The male of the species grows to a maximum of 5.5 inches. Long What is special about this species of monkfish is that the male adheres to the female as a parasite for the rest of his life. At birth, he has a highly developed sense of smell that helps him detect the female's pheromones. The man only lives to find his mate. Once the male has found his mate, he will bite and cling to the female's skin and slowly, the male gradually begins to deteriorate. First, he loses his intestines, his brain, his eyes, and finally the rest of his body, leaving only his reproductive organs. Multiple males will mate with a single female. Ceratidae is the only animal known to become a chimera as a normal part of its life cycle. Number 4. The Gulper Eel. Also called the Apelican Eel, this is an eel-like fish found in the deep sea and rarely seen by humans. It is not related to true eels and is in fact the only known member of the Europharynx genus. Its large mouth, very large in relation to its body, makes it unique. Its mouth allows it to hunt sea creatures twice its size. It has a long tail with a small light-generating organ called a photophore that emits bioluminescent pink light. The light occasionally emits red flashes and places its long tail close to its wide mouth to attract prey. The feeding eel has no pectoral fins or scales. Instead, it has a sleek, black body and its muscle segments are V-shaped. Its stomach is flexible and can hold a large amount of food, not much is known about their reproductive habits. However, male's large olfactory organ indicates that they use their sense of smell to find a mate. Many researchers also believe that the feeding eel dies shortly after hatching. Number 5. The Black Swallower In the depths of the deep waters of the tropical sea lay an unusual fish called Black Swallow. It's a small fish, only 9.8 inches long, but it has the ability to swallow a fish much larger than its overall size. It has a large mouth with the lower jaw protruding from the upper jaw. Nobody has observed it in its natural habitat. However, Theodore Gill, a mammalian specialist, 
speculated that the gulper catches its prey by the tail and then covers it with its mandibles until it is completely coiled up in its stomach. Sometimes a fish is swallowed that is so large that it has difficulty digesting and breaking down, releasing a gas that forces it to the surface of the sea. Reproduction is by laying eggs, and the eggs are pelagic. Number 6. The Colossal Squid. Commonly known as the Antarctic squid, it's known to the masses as the largest species of squid. The colossal squid is estimated to be 46 feet long and weigh up to 750 kilograms. In addition to its weight, it is known to have one of the largest beaks of any squid and the largest eyes, which can be 11 inches in diameter with a pupil of 3.5 inches, making it a deep sea gigantism. Their limbs have sharp hooks and they use bioluminescence to attract prey. Despite being so monstrous, they only eat 30 grams of prey per day due to their slow metabolism. The largest cephalopod ever recorded was a colossal squid caught in New Zealand in 2007 weighing 435 kilograms. It is now on display at the Museum of New Zealand Te Papa Tongarua. Number 7. The Giant Isopod. Giant wood lice can grow up to 19 inches long and are a good example of abysmal gigantism, being much larger than the common wood lice, which are only 2 inches long. Bathonomus giganteus is the world's largest of the 20 isopod species. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and is abundant in the deep, cold waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. It has a tough exoskeleton that protects it from predators. Some isopods have the ability to curl up into a ball when threatened they have large, highly reflective compound eyes that set them apart from others. Giant isopods are carnivorous scavengers. Since there are few opportunities in the deep sea, it is observed that in captivity they can survive without food for more than five years. America and Japan are kept in public aquariums, but in Taiwan they are eaten as food. Number 8. Black Dragonfish. This unusual species is sexually dimorphic, meaning that its males and females are very different. They are brown in color, grow to only two inches in length, and have no teeth, barbels, or functioning intestines. The larvae of the black dragonfish are unique in themselves, they are transparent with long pendulous stems with eyes at the top. The stalks shorten as they grow into adults and are absorbed into the eye sockets. Foot. They are bioluminescent, which is not only useful for attracting prey, but can also be used to allow them to see their own light which also helps them hunt prey. This infrared light is almost invisible to the human eye. Number 9. The pink-skinned goblin shark is. The goblin shark has a distinctive long, flat, sword-like snout. Their eyes are small and lack a nictitating membrane that protects and moistens their eyes underwater. Another unique feature of the goblin shark is its jaws, which are attached to elastic bands. So when prey approaches, the lower jaw projects forward and swings up at speeds of up to 3.1 miles per second to catch the prey. The goblin shark has a pattern of reopening and closing during strikes, a behavior never seen in other sharks. This style was called spin feeding. In addition, the goblin shark is able to open its mouth to an angle of 111 degrees, making it impossible for its prey to get away with it. It got its name from its old Japanese name, Tenguzame. The Tengu was a Japanese mythical creature that shared the same physical characteristics as a long-nosed creature IT, is the only specimen in the family Mitsukurinidae, and is also referred to as a living fossil. Number 10. The Giant Siphonophore. The giant siphonophore, an invertebrate, is the second longest after the cordworm at 50 m, but is as thin as a broomstick. Priodubia is made up of a huge colony of small biological components called a zoos. Each zoo evolves with a specific function, some capture prey, some digest food, some reproduce, and some help the organism swim underwater. However, a single zooid cannot stay alive on its own. It is the synergy that keeps the species Priodubia alive, zooids are long, translucent stalks known as fissinect colonies. The larger end of the zooid assembly is a transparent, dome-shaped structure filled with gas. This gives it the buoyancy it needs to stay in the depths of the ocean. 
water pressure holds them together under the ocean, causing them to break into pieces as they rise to the surface. Therefore, their identity was not fully known until their observation in the wild in one note Praia Dubia uses bright blue bioluminescence to attract prey and is an active swimmer.